Well, welcome Earth Signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message on your twin flame journey. Weekend commencing Friday the 19th of February through to Sunday the 21st of February 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us, Earth Signs. Okay, so those that I am reading for this weekend, um, your first crowning message is Observer. And we then have Patience. Okay, Earth Signs, what I am picking up is definitely uh, the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine both coming in. Um, in this reading for you this weekend. I feel as though uh, those that I am reading for, the divine masculine energy certainly has some questions, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorns, okay? And I feel as though they may be either spying or watching you online, um, or if you are the divine masculine, um, I feel as though the divine masculine is watching, observing online, um, yeah, because they've got some questions, okay? Um, whoever is the divine feminine energy in this connection, I feel as though you're being guided to be patient, okay, Earth Signs? Uh, be patient at this time uh, because I feel as though, do you know what? It almost feels as though the divine masculine energy is quite suspicious of their divine feminine. And I feel as though um, the divine feminine is coming in almost in this kind of innocence, um, kind of being still, being patient. And I feel as though that is what is being guided um, for the earth signs. So whether or not you are resonating with this um, as the divine masculine or the divine feminine, I feel as though um, the divine masculines uh, you, I, I feel as though they're watching, they have some questions and I feel as though the divine feminine is under some sort of scrutiny, but they're innocent. Okay. And I feel as though they're being guided to just be patient because I think that I feel as though the truth will, will come out. Then we have for your crown and wisdom message, nine, four, five. Step into your senses as a way of communicating with your twin flame on an intimate level. And three, 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 past, present and future energies need examining. What do you truly want moving forward? So earth signs, I feel as though whether or not you're resonating as either the divine masculine or the divine feminine in this connection, I feel as though for you, the wisdom that's coming in earth signs is that um, it's time to really connect with that sacral chakra, um, connecting with your sensual side, okay? Um, you may be missing uh, the intimacy of your divine counterpart, okay? And I feel as though whilst there is this kind of um, uh, sort of unbalanced between the two of you, I feel as though you're being guided to reach out to them um, on that 5D level uh, and connect with them on that sensual level. Um, yeah, on the 5D. It almost feels as though earth signs, it almost feels as though if you're the divine feminine, in, in, in this reading, I feel as though you're being guided to almost reach out and give your divine masculine a hug, probably a little bit more than a hug, but I feel as though you're being guided to reassure them because there's something that they're obviously observing um, with the observer card here that I feel like you're under scrutiny, all right? And those of you that are the divine masculines that I'm reading for, that's resonating as the person that's observing your divine feminine, I feel as though you're being guided to connect with them on that 5D and seek that assurance that you need. If you feel as though they have been unfaithful to you in some shape, form or another, I feel as though as you connect to them on that 5D level, 
they will reassure you that there is nobody else um, but you that they are being physical with. And I feel that as you um, step into that sacral chakra on the 5D, connecting with your twin flame divine masculines, you will know from how they are communicating with you on that sensual level that there is nobody else, okay? Whether you are um, the DMs or DFs um, in this connection, um, Earth Signs, I definitely feel for you, you're being guided to really, really look at your heart chakra. Um, go deep within, look at past, present and, um, well, past and present uh, energies that may be affecting um, the future of you and your divine counterpart. And I feel as though you're being guided to ask yourself the question, um, you know, what do you really want? If you, again, are the divine feminine in this connection, Earth signs, I feel as though you're being guided to really look and see if this is a pattern that has repeated. And therefore, if so, you probably need to examine it and try and unpick it and try and resolve it so that you and your divine partner can um, uh, move to the next level. If you are the divine masculine, um, the same thing could be said for you. If you are observing because you feel insecure, you know, you could be watching this person on social media, literally stalking them, okay? Um, and I don't feel in a well, actually, in a bit of a creepy way as well, actually, if I'm being honest. Um, but not in a kind of... Um, I, I feel more obsessive than creepy. Let me correct myself. Yeah, I, I feel as though the divine masculines are probably really heavily observing the divine mas feminines. Not to the sense where divine feminines, you'd have to take out an injunction on this person. But I feel as though they are obsessed with what you're doing. And I feel as though they're accessing, watching, observing via your social media, online presence. And if you are the divine masculines watching this video, Earth, Earth signs, I feel as though you're being guided, okay, to really look at the, that behaviour and ask yourself within your heart chakra, what is it that is so shattered, so broken from your past that is affecting your present and future with your divine feminine? And I feel as though you, you're being guided to ask yourself, what, what is it you truly want to move forward? So if that is a behaviour of observing and, you know, heavily observing, almost borderline obsessive, watching your divine feminine counterpart um, online, social media, then I feel that you're being guided to ask yourself the question, why? And listen to what your heart chakra is telling you. And if that is a pattern or behavior that you need to break, okay? Do you have trust issues? You know, is this really what you want moving forward with your divine counterpart? And I'm talking to the divine masculine earth signs here. Quite quite a deep message for, for both um, divine masculines and divine feminines here. Okay, earth signs, if these messages so far are resonating for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video. Um, those of you that are returning, um, thank you for returning. <laughs> thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your um, donations, your encouragement. It really, really is appreciated. Those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Um, I hope that you get something useful out of this message this weekend. Um, and if you would like to know when I'm uploading new messages, please feel free to click that subscription button. All right, Earth Signs, I feel like this is going to be a really deep reading. So let us uh, have a look at your main love message. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me 
How does the twin flames of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey? Weekends commencing Friday the 19th of February through to Sunday the 21st of February 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right. So let's focus on the beautiful energy of Taurus, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Can you tell? Thank you. Wow. Okay, that's too many cards, Taurus. I'm going to go again. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Can you tell? Thank you. Wow. Okay, so we have fear. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Can you tell me how does? Thank you. We have contemplation. Okay. All right. And now we're moving on to our Virgos, please. Thank you. We have metamorphosis. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Can you tell me how does the twin flames of? Thank you. And we have cycles. What was I saying about some sort of cycle being broken? Anyway, let's move on. Uh, uh, Capricorns, please. Thank you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. So we have material world and we have surrender. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So Capricorns, let's put your cards over here. Put them aside for one moment. And Virgos, we'll put your cards to one side for the moment. And let's focus on our Tauruses. Okay, so Taurus. I feel for those Tauruses that I am reading for um, this weekend, I feel as though the divine masculine in this connection is definitely operating from a place of fear. Um, really going within contemplating um, what's going on with their divine feminine. And I feel as though they have a lot of questions um, and that is why they are observing. So do you remember what I was saying right at the beginning of the message, Tauruses, that it feels to me what I was picking up, it's as though the divine masculine in this connection is questioning the divine feminine questioning um probably their whether or not they are seeing somebody or basically sleeping with somebody else that's what it feels like okay and i feel as though um they are really thinking about this quite heavily and they're operating from a place of fear so it could be tauruses um whether you are the divine feminine or the divine masculine listening to this message the divine masculine um, is definitely the person that I feel is coming in with the wisdom. Come, the wisdom is coming in for the divine masculine in this connection to really, really look at um, this this um, obsessive behaviour of observing, okay, um, their divine um, feminine big time because I feel as though this is a trait that the divine masculine has had for a while it's a cycle I feel that they have experienced in either past lifetimes with the di divine masculine and um, divine feminine so I'll give you an example the divine masculine um in past lives may have experienced um uh their divine feminine cheating on them numerous times I feel numerous numerous times and I feel as though it created a real massive fear in their heart chakra okay and I feel in this lifetime Tauruses whether you are male or um the male masculine energy or you are the female um, energy, um, the divine feminine energy, I feel as though uh, the divine masculine is operating in fear, 
okay? Um, and I feel as though um, the wisdom that's also coming in is divine feminines. As you be patient, because I feel as though in this lifetime, right here, right now, um, I feel as though you're innocent and therefore you're being guided to connect with your divine counterpart in that 5D to almost reassure them. And again, so right at the beginning where I was saying that I was picking up that the divine feminine may need to reach out and hug and hold um, their divine masculine counterpart on that astral plane, that's what's coming up for you, Taurus, whether you are the male or female counterpart, it, it doesn't matter. But the divine masculine um, energy in the connection, Taurus, they are the ones that are operating in fear and they are really, really observing really really observing and it could be you Taurus if you are the divine masculine um divine feminines your uh divine uh masculine counterpart is definitely uh really heavily observing you online okay watching your social media look at the laptop and I've never know I never noticed this before that that's actually a laptop if you look closely so I feel as though they are watching um, and quite sneakily, it feels as if they're not letting you know. It's like it's borderline obsessive and it's simply because they have questions. They have questions that they want answers to. And I feel as though they may be fearful to even answer you, hey, do you know what? Are you sleeping around? I mean, in this day and age, what guy would actually ask you that? or whoever's got the masculine energy. I mean, you know, who would actually blatantly come out and say that? They will try and get information, more information. But in this this case, Tauruses, I feel as though you are innocent and I feel as though you're being guided to not bite, to not um, rise up to that level. You know, let them go within and contemplate um, and really think about why, why is it that they are so caught up with, with observing you? And if they're operating from a fear of, you know, are you sleeping? I don't know why I'm seeing or picking up sleeping with other people. But I feel as though it's a pattern. Um, they may have had that experience in past lifetimes with you and therefore that's why they're operating from that place of fear but I feel as though they're being guided to really think that they're, they're going to be thinking about what they're doing okay and I feel as though that is the right thing the divine masculine in this energy I feel it is going to go through a period of really contemplating and I feel it's whether or not they want to move forward with this connection because they may catch themselves that it's a cycle that they need to break, operating from a place of fear. Okay, let's have a look at your clarifications. Thank you. Wow, look at that. Cannot make this up. The Page of Swords, which is the Spycraft card. This person is absolutely um, heavily observing you, uh, Tauruses. Heavily, heavily. Or Taurus, it could be you, but the divine masculine in this energy is spying OK, and it's coming from a place of fear. And what did I say with the Wheel of Fortune? This is fated. OK, so this tells me categorically this is a pattern. OK, that the divine masculine has experienced time after time after time after time. It's like it's a rotating wheel. OK, it's 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 meant to happen and it's meant to happen. Um, in this lifetime for them to examine what has gone in the part gone on in the past in order for for them to break that thank you gosh i do you know what i could not make that up with that spy card coming out and then we have got the king of wands and we have got the four of swords i feel as though um uh, Taurus is the divine masculine is coming in real strong. I feel as though they are very passionate towards the divine feminine. Um, they want to take action. 
but I feel as if they don't know, they haven't got enough information. It almost feels as if they want to challenge the divine feminine. But do you know what I feel, um, Tauruses, whether you are uh, resonating with this message as the divine feminine um, or the divine masculine, I feel as though the divine feminine energy needs to stay firm, um, be patient, because on on this occasion in this lifetime, I feel as though uh, you the the divine feminine is innocent. The innocence is just um, just stay grounded in faith, and I feel as though the divine masculine um, seriously wants to take action and almost face the divine feminine and answer the question, but they're scared. They're scared. So part of what they're doing is just observing, stalking, spying with that page of swords. And I feel with that contemplation, with the four of swords, again, I can't make it up. They are in, they're going to be in this place of really trying to rest that monkey mind, contemplating what to do. What is the next action? Are they, are they willing to move forward from past behaviors around their heart chakra that they really do need to address and break that cycle that's why this connection is fated because that is what they needed that's what they need to learn and grow from and examine divine feminines um i feel that you are being guided to reach out to them um on that astral plane and to be honest with you I almost feel as though with the purity and the innocence of this patience card I feel as though give them a hug and let them know it's okay wow Whew, okay divine um divine um masculines and feminines let's have a look Taurus Let's have a look and see what your twin flame would like to say to you on that 5D level. Thank you. Wow, look at that. I'm a better person because of you. So uh, Taurus is male or female, um, divine masculine or divine feminine. Um, evidently, the divine masculine energy is coming in really, really strong here. I feel as though if they do go into their past, um, and recognize some of the things that have really angst their heart, okay, that they need to heal, that they need to address head on as they go through that contemplation, as they rest that monkey mind. I feel as though on that um, 5D level, um, what they're trying to tell you in this lifetime is that they are a better person because of you, okay? So it could be um, that they may have had karmic partners that had slept around, basically. And somehow, somehow, some, somehow, some way, that karmic energy has carried on to in, into this lifetime. And it feels as though as they are coming into union with their divine feminine, um, divine feminines, I feel as though you're getting the brunt of it. But I feel as though your patience of being still reaching out to them on that 5D astral plane and, and comforting them, reassuring them that you're not that karmic partner. That's where they're coming in and saying, I'm a better person because of you. So it, you know, and this is what I said right at the beginning. This doesn't feel like the kind of stalking that is somebody that you would have in the 3D world, kind of, you know, want an injunction on them or something. This genuinely feels like somebody that's really, really scared and they don't actually know how to face it. And I feel as though this weekend is going to be a bit of a breakthrough for, the, for them, Tauruses. Okay, let's have a look and see. Um, as the Divine Masculine is the most prominent, let's see what the Divine Masculine energy the advice for the Divine Masculine Energy in this reading is for Taurus, please. My angels and spirit guides of the Divine, please, can you tell me your advice? Thank you. So for the Divine Masculine Tauruses, it says, resist the temptation of pleasure and desire to hurt. You are a free person. Okay, so Divine Masculine 
Tauruses, if you are resonating with this message as you here, okay, I feel as though you are being guided um, to resist retaliating by sleeping with other people. Resist the temptation of pleasure and the desire to hurt. So it may, it, for me, looking at in the whole context of your reading, um, Taurus divine masculines, I feel as though you are being guided to not let your fear that your divine feminine your fear that your divine feminine is sleeping with other people trigger you to retaliate and then go and sleep with other people, okay, to hurt them. I feel that you are being guided to know that you're free from your past, but you have to be the one to decide what you want to do. So as you go through that contemplation, rest in that monkey mind, divine masculine Tauruses, just know that you are free. You have the choice, the free will, even though this wheel of fortune is fated, you're supposed to go through this. Remember that you do have free will and you are free from the past. But you need to figure that out for yourself because in this particular reading, your divine feminine is, is innocent of whatever it is you feel that they are doing. Let's have a look and see what the advice, look, the advice message for uh, Taurus divine feminine. My angels and spirit guides of the divine Please, can you tell me your advice for the Divine Feminine Taurus? Thank you. And we have in birth, decay, death, sorrow and turmoil. Be the seer of the ultimate reality with faith and serenity. And do you know something, um, Tauruses, Divine Feminine? I could not have picked a better advice card for you to be fit, to be totally honest okay because i could see straight away that whatever your divine masculine counterpart is almost accusing you of without actually blatantly coming out and saying it you are innocent and therefore be patient okay because the advice is that you're going through the whole connection is going through um, transformation. And I feel that your job right now is to almost hold the faith and see the reality of what's going on. Your divine counterpart has gone through massive, massive hurt in the past, which is why they're operating from a place of fear, which is why they're coming in on that 5D and saying they are a better person because of you all right but it means that unfortunately um divine feminine tauruses um you may have to take a bit of the flack okay in terms of if this is what they're feeling okay which we can't poo poo because that is how they feel if you have not given them any just cause to make them think that you are, you know, sleeping around with other people. I feel as though you are innocent. And I feel as though as the divine feminine energy, you're being guided to see the ultimate reality. It's almost as though you're being guided to see beyond the 3D of what's going on. This isn't just about sleeping with other people in the fire in the 3d this is about a very very deep hurt that um that really shattered their heart chakra and they have to make a decision whether or not to move forward with you because it may not be the right time they you guys may need to separate for a bit in order for the divine masculine to heal this shattered heart chakra and that's why you're being guided to, because if that is what happens, Taurus, Divine, Feminine, I feel as though um, be strong, be graceful and see the reality of what is going on um, 
on the 5D and not just look at the 3D as if this person is just moving away from me because, um, you know, they don't want to be with me. It's not that. They've got some healing to do. But what you can do is connect with them on that astral level, on that 5D astral plane and comfort them. Because I feel as though you're innocent in this lifetime. Okay, I knew that that was going to be deep. These readings are going to be deep. All right, let's move on to our beautiful, beautiful Virgos. Wow. Gosh, cannot make up these things, you know. It's quite surreal as a reader, how, how these messages come through. Anyway, so Virgos, I feel as though um, there is a change going on. Um, cycles I feel are closing, new cycles are beginning. So if you stuck around Virgos to watch the Taurus um, message, I feel as though um, the Tauruses were going through a transformation. I feel as though Virgos, whether you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine, I feel as though um, you're coming out of that transformation because there's been metamorphosis. It's as though, um, I feel as though the connection is being um, blossomed. It's being birthed now into something really, really beautiful. And it with this cycles card, I feel as though it is the divine feminine. Do you remember what I was saying? The divine feminine um, is somebody that's innocent in this. I feel as though there's been a rebirth. OK, I feel as though the divine feminine in this connection um, has been extremely hurt, OK, by the questions and observations of the divine masculine in this connection. And I feel as though um, the divine feminine may be the one that has to look at the past and examine whether or not they still want to continue going forward with their divine masculine. But it is this, these cards for Virgo, this is true transformation and it has the potential to come out absolutely beautiful. And I definitely feel that something has died and a new, a new beginning has erupted. And we have the hangman to clarify. Yep. So the metamorphosis state in this connection has been, um, one of you have, um, really, been observing yeah reflecting on this connection and i feel as though it is the divine masculine virgos that has really come out the other end observing probably being quite still trying to reflect on this connection so as i was saying with the tauruses tauruses i feel like um, you're at the beginning of this journey of this observating, um, you know, accusing uh, the divine masculine, accusing the divine feminine of sleeping around um, and, and really watching and, and, you know, having to really do some, um, probably some shadow work. But for the Virgos, I feel Virgo, this has already happened. It's like you're coming out the other end. OK, the divine masculine, I feel, has come out of this absorb uh, um, observation um mode they probably have already gone through um what they want to do moving forward hence why the cycle is closed and a new cycle is beginning and look at that the three of coins they've put the work in i feel as though the divine masculine in this connection for virgos i feel they have really reflected on past patterns behaviors um past energies uh, that that has affected their heart, that may have triggered them to be um, quite obsessive over uh, watching the divine feminine. And as I said, the divine feminine, it has been heartbreaking for them, shattering to go through this with their divine masculine counterpart. But look at that. They're coming in as that queen of swords. They've been truthful. They've been truthful. They've been honest. They haven't done anything untoward. And I picked that up again right from the beginning. They're innocent. They've been patient. And I feel as though that cycle is now ending. 
this person, the divine masculine, I feel wants to put the work in after going through a period of um, that hangman coming out in that metamorphosis state, reborn, reborn. And I feel as though the divine feminine, um, even though uh, she was shattered, okay, um, this uh, death and rebirth um, needed to happen, okay? It's as though you were illuminated to just stand firm, be patient, because you were speaking truth. And look at that. The divine feminine coming in strong with unconditional love for their divine counterpart. And that's why, um, kind of, gosh, I kind of feel quite emotional. Um, Virgos, that, that's... That's why I feel as though it was earth shattering for you to be accused of perhaps sleeping with other people. Be accused of something that your divine masculine um, was watching and observing. Whether you are the uh, male or female Virgo watching this. The divine masculine in this energy was the one that had questions observing around some sort of infidelity. And they were observing and watching and reflecting for a long time. This weekend, they've had a breakthrough. They now want to put in the work because they realise that you are truthful, honest, and you have this cup of love, unconditional love. Because the bottom line is that the divine feminine um, was truthful. It was earth shattering for them to go through this cycle with their divine um, masculine. But you know what? They stuck it out, I feel. The patience. They were patient. Stuck it out because they have nothing but unconditional love. And they've been truthful. Wow. Let's have a look and see what the uh, what the twin flame message for virgo is please my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me the twin flame message for the collective of virgo sun moon rising and venus in love thank you okay so virgo's message from your twin flame says i've never forgotten you even though you think i have okay so i feel as though virgo's whether you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine watching this, I feel as though um, I feel as though your divine counterpart is saying that they've never forgotten you. Um, so if you are the divine masculine watching this and you um, went through this kind of obsessive observing watching your divine feminine, I feel as though that your divine feminine is letting you know, even though this cycle needed to happen, they have this unconditional love for you. They have been truthful. They recognize that it was a cycle that needed to be broken. Okay. And they're just coming in to let you know that they never forgot you. Okay. Even though you may have pulled away your energy to reflect, to go through this metamorphosis, they never forgot you. They stood still knowing that they were true, they were innocent, they were truthful, innocent, patient, because they knew that they had this love for you. Virgo um, divine feminines, if this is your divine uh, masculine coming in, I feel as though it's almost kind of like the reverse. Um, where they have where they had gone away perhaps to reflect um, and to go through some sort of healing to address past hurts okay um, because they were perhaps observing their behavior they may have um, seen something or you know that you may have been accused of this person by this person your divine masculine of sleeping around i don't know why i'm saying sleeping around but i'm just getting that from the um sacral chakra card um i feel as though they're trying to let you know on that 5d they never forgot you even though you thought they had because i feel as though the divine um feminine was um extremely heartbroken 
And so therefore I feel that the divine masculine is coming in and saying, I never forgot you. Even though I ne needed to step away, I needed to go through this change. I'm now coming back to put the work in because I now know that this cycle is ended. I know that you're being truthful and honest and I know that you have nothing but love for me. Okay, let's have a look and see what the advice is for the Divine Feminine Virgos, please. Like, oh, 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 okay, that's too many that's come out. Let me just uh, shake that again. Mike, thank you. All right, that's okay. Well, do you know something? That's twice, and I know well enough to know that when my spirit team um, shuffles, okay, or when I shuffle and they come out, and that's twice in a row, a pile of cards. So I'm going to take them. So Virgo, Divine Feminines, your advice is still pure from the beginning of birth. No impure th thoughts, words and deeds could taint your noble self. My goodness gracious me, does that not just resonate patience? And that is what we were saying, Virgos, that are the divine feminines, okay? This was earth, sh earth shattering for you. Look at how this is just all shattered. This cycle needed to happen um, with your divine counterpart. And I feel as though, look at the grace and integrity of both of these cards that are representing the divine feminine. And your advice is being still and patient paid off for you. Okay. And then we have the loving kindness you show to others returns to you as grace. I feel as though Virgo's um, divine feminine energies, um, you are the ones that held your faith, that you knew your innocence, okay? And I feel as though your integrity and grace is what got you through this, all right? And your final message, new growth leaves and fruits come forth with spring. Enlightenment comes hand in hand with perfect, with perfection of wisdom, and you know what, as I um, as I was just reading that, as I stumbled reading that, um, my eyes was drawn to the patience card with the hands um, clasped together, um, which just resonated with that message. New growth, leaves and fruits come forth with spring. Enlightenment comes hand in hand with perfection of wisdom. I feel as though divine feminines, um, Virgo divine feminines, I feel as though you... Um, extremely wise it was heartbreaking um whatever this cycle is that is closing it was heartbreaking but do you know what i feel as though uh virgo divine feminines you held your own you held your integrity and your grace and it's come from a place of wisdom beautiful let's have a look very quickly at um messages for the divine masculine uh virgos my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you thank, thank you. Advice for the divine masculine Virgos says, when you wound or grieve another, you have not learned detachment. And that is really interesting because I feel as though um, whatever was wounded, whatever wounded the divine masculine Virgo in past lives, um, I feel as though this weekend something is triggering, okay, where they are coming out of reflecting on this connection with the divine counterpart, divine feminine, coming out metamor in this metamorphosis state, coming out beautiful, coming out transformed. And I feel as though the advice that's coming in for the divine masculine, um, that... Um, I feel as though you knew that you perhaps needed to pull away from your divine feminine in order to examine your past. Because if you didn't, then you would not have learnt detachment. And that is what needed to happen for the divine masculine. It broke the divine feminine's heart, I feel, um, going through this cycle with the divine masculine. But it needed to happen and I feel as though the divine feminine came out um, with integrity and grace. 
but also I feel the divine masculine in this in this reading um, also came out with a very vital lesson that they needed to learn and it was detachment beautiful wow beautiful 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 okay Virgos that concludes your message. Very deep messages for the Twin Flames this, this weekend. Oh, I'm absolutely fascinated to see what the individual um, Zodiac signs are going to say. I'm fascinated, fascinated. Oh, all right. So Capricorns. So we have material world and surrender. Okay, so I feel as though um, Capricorns, I feel as though the divine masculine energy is most definitely observing um, money, finances, work. OK, they may feel as though their divine feminine is perhaps either working too hard or they may feel lack in some shape, form or another. And this may have stemmed from um, past um uh, past life past lifetimes experiences where perhaps the um, divine masculine kind of felt as though they didn't have enough money um, or, or enough stability to look after or protect um, their divine uh, feminine in this lifetime I feel as though there is a cycle that is repeating um, and I feel as though the divine masculine is the one that may feel lack again okay so it feels as though the past is rearing its ugly head in terms of that karmic lesson um, of operating perhaps from a place of ego um, is, is trying to close itself out. I feel as though the divine feminine is being guided to be patient um, because you're innocent. You may not even be aware um, that this is what the divine masculine is going through. And I feel as though um, divine feminine um, surrender uh, I feel as though the divine feminine is the one that's surrendering to this connection. And you know what I'm picking up? And I know it's not coming out in the cards, but I am picking this up from my team. Divine feminines, if your divine masculine has been coming to you in dreams, pay attention to that. Because I feel as though there are clues that are coming in from the from the dreams. So, okay, let me give you a scenario so that I can just break it down, so that you can you guys can kind of understand what kind of I'm getting downloaded with. It feels as though Capricorns, the divine masculine in this connection, is feeling lack in some shape, form, or another. But the divine feminine, I feel, is quite well to do, quite comfortable, doesn't really want for a penny. OK, as the divine counterpart in this connection for Capricorn is feeling lack when it comes to uh, money. So they, they feel as if they are not at the same financial standing as the divine uh, feminine. I feel as though they may have pulled away their energy for a hot minute. So they may be focusing on their money all right and it's coming from a place of um dealing with karmic energies of the past of where they may have lost their divine counterpart because they couldn't look after them or they may be quite a traditional type of um divine masculine where you know they want to make sure that they can provide um for the divine feminine okay but the divine feminine, I feel, it, again, is very innocent in this. Um, you know, the divine feminine has created their own environment, um, their own uh, money. They don't, they don't want for anything. And I feel as though when the divine masculine perhaps pulled away to focus on money um, or, yeah, to focus on money, or they because they feel that lack, okay, because the divine feminine is pretty much all right, okay. 
I feel as though the divine feminine is being guided to surrender to the divine masculine perhaps coming back in, okay? Surrender and show um, love, peace, kindness, compassion. And if the, if the divine masculine pulled away because they do feel lack and they're focusing on their finances, I feel as though divine feminines, you're being guided to forgive that, okay? Forgive that because... I feel as though they're operating from a place of karmic energy of past lifetimes. So listen to you, what your heart is telling you and surrender to that. I feel as though you're being guided divine feminine Capricorns. Um, if you are feeling like, you know what, I'm, I might as well just walk away because my divine masculine is not entertaining me. They're not, they're not engaging with me they're not being reciprocal it feels as though they're still there in the background observing watching you but their primary um their primary task is to uh focus on their finances okay because there's something in their past that um in this in, in on your twin flame journey there was something in your past where um you may have left them because they couldn't support you. Okay. So divine feminines, I feel as though you're being guided to surrender to the divine masculine when they come back. Because I, they, I feel as though they will come back because you're innocent. You may be totally oblivious to the fact that they may have money problems in the 3D. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. That's quite intense. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify how does the twin flames of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Um, thank you, thank you. So the first, look at that. The um, uh, six of coins and look at that, the emperor. What did I say? This person, I feel as though, is the divine masculine, um, knows that you have put in the work. They know that you have your own money. They know that you are comfortable, okay? And I feel as though they want to balance out. They want to balance out the scales. They want to come into this union being equal to you. So, Okay, thank you. I have to give thanks to, to my spirit team right now because I wasn't really quite understanding what they were speaking through me. But evidently, the divine masculine, this connection feels lack. They feel that they haven't got, they're not of the same financial standing as their divine feminine. The divine feminine may be totally unawares of this. But the divine masculine may have pulled away their energy strongly wanting to take the lead to create money, abundance, fix up their financial situation so that they can give equally to this connection. And therefore the divine feminine is being asked to surrender when they come back in because they're going to come back in strong. Okay. Listen to your heart. Okay. You could be dealing with somebody that has got Aries in their chart Capricorn or you may have Aries in your chart let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you okay I thought that was turning but it didn't my ain't thank you yep I feel as though um the divine feminine I feel as though you are thinking of your person I feel as though you're both thinking about each other on a daily basis and I feel as though you want to um, come in, divine feminines, um, come in with messages of passion. Um, it also could represent that the divine masculine wants to come in. Remember, I was saying that they're they're going to come they're going to come back in, okay, strongly. But right now they're focusing on their money. 
okay because they want it to be a balanced connection and they feel quite strongly about that they could be thinking about their divine feminine on a daily basis wanting to come in with messages of passion but right now they're not doing so i feel as though the divine feminine may be thinking about their divine counterpart their divine masculine quite strongly you also um if i'm speaking to the uh divine feminine uh capricorns I feel as though you want to come in with messages of passion. I feel as though you're being guided to surrender to that. Even if the divine masculine, I know this sounds really crazy, Capricorns, but if your divine masculine has pulled away their energy slightly, it's not because of you. Be patient. You're innocent in this. You may not know what's going on on their, on their financial front, but I feel as though their integrity is very good. OK, they may have be a bit of an ego. They might have a bit of an ego. They may be a little bit controlling, but I feel controlling over themselves. It's as though um, right now they're trying to control coming in full throttle and taking the lead on this connection because they know that you as the divine feminine, um, you've got your financial shit together. And I feel as though that has triggered them to get their shit together because they want to come in with on equal footing. They want an equal balanced um, financial standing. And that is why I feel as though the divine feminines uh, Capricorn, you're being guided um, to surrender, surrender and listen to your heart because I feel as though you're both thinking about each other. Um, so uh, divine feminine um, Capricorns, if you feel to come in this weekend and just show a little bit of, um, you know, flirty behavior, a, a message of passion, um, just really lighthearted, I feel as though um, your divine masculine will welcome that yeah connect with them on that 5d give them a hug reassure them let them know that you're okay that you know um yes money is important but you know what the connection is more important the spiritual journey and growth that you're going through with each other in this lifetime is more important uh divine masculine capricorns um i feel as though you are being guided to be open um, to your divine feminine you know don't box yourself away in a corner working too hard you know um the the the, the past has already gone um you know tomorrow is not promised to us you guys are thinking about each other um do you know what? i almost feel um capricorn divine masculines you know talk to your divine counterpart you know Actually, that's a silly thing to say because with that emperor energy, you ain't going to do that. There's just no way you'll do that. But I feel as though you are being guided, um, divine masculine Capricorns, to listen to your heart, okay? And surrender and take solace that your divine feminine kind of loves you whether you have loads of money or not yeah oh okay let's have a look and see what the twin flame would like to say to capricorns please oh okay no other compares to you absolutely and you know what whether you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine watching this message I feel as though your divine counterpart is letting you know that um, there is no other connection um, other than you. I mean, I don't need to explain that at all. And that is why I feel as though uh, divine feminines, um, if this person, your divine masculine has pulled away because they're trying to sort out their finances because they want to come in on an equal footing because they feel a bit of lack, maybe operating from a place of fear. OK, I feel as though you're being guided to listen to your heart. Be patient. OK, there's not you're not seeing everything. You're, you're kind of innocent in all of this. But just know that no other compares to you. Divine masculines. Um, I feel as though when your uh, divine feminine comes in um, with messages of passion, I feel as though they're trying to let you know on that 5D level Um there is no other that compares to you. I'm not concerned that you are not of the same financial um, uh, level as me. Um, it doesn't matter. 
I feel as though the divine feminine is saying to you, no other compares to you. Um, the journey that we're on together kind of outweighs money, 3D material stuff. Okay. Wow. Let's see what the advice is for Capricorn Divine Feminines. Advice, please, for the Divine Feminine Capricorn. Thank you. So Capricorn Divine Feminines, it says, If with kindly generosity, one merely has the wish to soothe the aching heart's of other beings such merit has no bounds and you know what i feel as though um ugh, god do you know i can't make this up divine feminine capricorns what i was saying you don't put okay let me let me try and put this because i don't want to dilute because any um any 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 person that wants to um improve their finances to come in equal to to dis, to display or to let you know that they're not a gold digger um you can't poo poo that okay but i feel as though there comes a line of um you know do you sacrifice the connection because of material stuff or do you balance it yeah with that um six of coins I feel as though um, divine feminine Capricorns, um, your your generosity, your kindness, your love, your patience, that is what is going to soothe the heart of the divine masculine. Okay, and I feel as though what I was saying that for the divine feminine Capricorns, it's almost as if. Um, you want to let your divine masculine know that, look, I am not overly concerned that we are not of the same financial level. What I'm concerned about is the journey that we're on together, the growth. Um, you know, tomorrow is not promised for us. So let's make use of our time in, in on this earth, in this lifetime. And I feel as though it may be actually the divine feminine that be, may be reaching out to the divine masculine um, on that astral plane to comfort them. OK, to soothe the aching heart of their divine masculine. And there's it's, it's boundless. Yeah, it's it's like um, you're doing it out of the love, surrendering to the connection. Gosh. Woo, okay, and uh, Divine Masculines, Capricorn, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me advice messages for the Divine Masculine of Capricorn? Thank you. Divine Masculine Capricorns, your advice says... The wind cannot shake a mountain, neither praise nor blame moves the wise man. And I feel as though that is quite pertinent because it's like, I, I suppose it, it encompasses the whole message uh, in terms of divine masculines. Um, what you are observing around the financial situation of both you and your finance and and your divine feminine i feel as though you're being guided that that is not going to shake the connection okay um and i feel that you're being guided to use wisdom okay because if you are feeling um a little bit egotistical with that emperor energy coming in that it is your job as the divine masculine to provide, to be, you know, the um, provider in this connection. I feel as though you're being guided to just use wisdom. OK, there is no point in in one of a better word, blaming the uh, divine feminine for what they have achieved, because I feel as though they're coming in to let you know that. A, there is no other that compares to um, you. And I feel as though they are 
they're not the type of person that you're connecting with Capricorn divine masculines that would um, hold you over a barrel um, because you may not be of the same financial standing. I feel as though um, they're, they're, they're not going to think any less of you because you don't earn the same amount of money as them, for example. Um, I feel as though their generosity is coming from a place in their heart that is more to do with the journey that you're on to on together because I feel as though the divine feminine totally recognizes that tomorrow is not promised to either one of you so it's like they they're trying to be really patient um for you to do what you've got to do but also to let you know that you know what I kind of don't care that you haven't got the same amount of money as me. It doesn't matter. And I feel as though Divine Masculine, you're being guided with the advice here. Use wisdom, okay? Because the winds cannot move a mountain, okay? The winds cannot move. Your material um, world here in the 3D cannot shake the foundation um, of you and your Divine Feminine, it this is is and it's, this is what I was trying to say, and I don't know if I articulated it properly. You know, we are spiritual beings having a human experience, and don't get me wrong, I'm not poo pooing the fact that we all need money to survive, but that is um, when you're when you're speaking on that spiritual level, it it is almost kind of irrelevant because. The connection that you have with your twin flame is timeless. You know, it, it moves from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime. And you have the opportunity in this lifetime to create some really beautiful memories because tomorrow isn't promised to either one of you. So rather than focusing on the material world, I feel as though you're being guided to use the wisdom that whether you have nothing it doesn't matter. Your divine feminine is going to love you. There is no other that compares to you. Okay, Capricorns, I'm going to leave that there. Earth signs, it truly has been a pleasure doing your weekend readings for you. Um, if this message does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video so that it can get pushed out to other earth signs out there. I'm so excited to do the twin flame readings for um, each and every one of you. Um, so when they get uploaded, please check them out. Um, if you would like to know when I'm uploading, please feel free to click that subscription button if you haven't done so already. All other information is down below in the description box. Um, so please feel free to check that out, particularly if you want to follow me on Instagram or find the quick link to the yearly readings. Um, other than that, Earth Signs, um, until next week, next weekend, next month, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye.